What's going on guys? It's Matt here, also known as Thrifter Sifter. It has been a busy day today as well. Not a whole lot of sales, only two so far. Hopefully I start getting some more in, but it has been a pretty good day so far. I just pretty much got up, had to do some stuff around the house. My mail lady came and took all those packages that I had, that I had yesterday. The only thing I haven't shipped yet is the floor, the floor mats for the, I think it was a, was it a Ford Escape? Yeah, Ford Escape. I believe something like that but um, I'm gonna take that tomorrow I have a two-day handling time and that definitely helps give me a break from having to catch the mail lady or try to hurry up and get to the post office because I'm in an apartment and if I had a house I would schedule someone it'd be a lot easier but I'm, I'm in and out of the house so much I have an antique booth in town as well so I'm not always here to catch the mail lady and I feel bad making her walk all the way to my door to knock on the door so I just said, you know what, if I catch her, I catch her. I don't even schedule it. She'll just come on like Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays and knock on the door. If I'm here, then I'll give her packages. You know, I don't want to make it too hard on her, but I haven't worried about scheduling them yet. I may get into that because when garage sales start on Friday, the Thursdays and Fridays are my main days to do garage sales. So here in South Dakota, it's like Thursday is just crazy garage sale day. I've come to realize that if you're not out on Thursday, then you're really missing out. Friday is the same way. Saturday, it seems to kind of die down here. I mean, there are still some sales on Saturday, but I don't know what it is, but Saturday is just, it's just not as busy. I'm going to go ahead and pull these two orders that I have. The first up is another item from that collector I bought all that stuff from. I paid a dollar for it. The Briar Horse right here that I sold. I sold it for $42 plus shipping. Let's see what else I sold. All right, excuse the mess. I'm still going through that bundle of stuff that I had left over from that collector. I went through a lot more of it yesterday. So I'm starting to get through it all. Let's see, the next one's in B4, and it's B4-7 as a SKU number. All right, here it is right here on top. It is a brand new with tags, Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. I got for $4 at Goodwill. I sold it for $22 plus shipping. My mail lady did bring me a bunch of priority boxes today. I have been needing. I'm so happy. I just took out a bunch that I don't really use that often. I don't use a lot of flat rate boxes. I'm going to take most of them back to the post office and drop them back off. I use some for things during garage sale season that's just really heavy that will fit in those boxes. But for the most part, I'm using just the regular priority mailboxes that I can adjust and resize. I'll show you what I use really quick. So here's a couple of the mailing boxes I like to use. This one is the 1095. Then I also use the 1092. And these are just long, flat boxes. And uh, they really come in handy, especially doing board games. I can kind of double these up, put two inside each other, make it a little longer package. Just makes it a lot easier. And they're really lightweight. So it's usually pretty affordable for the shipping. I also like to use a medium flat rate box and a large flat rate box like this, just in case I have some items that are really heavy, it will save on some shipping using these boxes instead of my own. Here's a couple other flat rates that I use. This is a medium flat rate and a large flat rate. These are just longer, skinnier boxes. Only use those for really heavy items. I really don't use flat rate boxes very often. Mainly during garage sale season. Mainly if I just have something really heavy that it will save money to put it in one of these boxes. Now I do use these medium mailing tubes. These are just by weight. These are not flat rate. I really like to use these for golf clubs, pull sticks, pull stick cases, stuff like that, long tubes, posters, really comes in handy to use stuff like this. All right, now I also have a large mailing box that I use, and these are good because I can resize these if I have to, especially if I'm sending something priority, this really saves me on using my own boxes if I don't need those. Also have a smaller mailing box, and then this is a really small mailing box. I never have to use these, but in case I'm shipping something, or especially during the holidays, someone needs something quick to them and it's a small item, I'll use these, but I rarely have to use them. Other than the 1092 and the 1095, 
I use this mailing box right here a lot. This one is great for shoes. Some smaller shoe boxes you can fit in here, but bigger shoe boxes you can't fit inside here. But if you have loose shoes, they fit in here great. Jackets, coveralls, stuff like that. I really like to use stuff like this. And then as well, I also love to use these padded flat rate envelopes. I use these for a lot of clothes that are just right over a pound that I can fit in here. And they're free for me. All these boxes are free to get from USPS. Saves me a lot of money on buying my own bubble mailers. Who here is ready for garage sales and yard sales, rummage sales, estate sales, I am. I am so tired of paying thrift store prices, but they have really kept me busy during the winter months here in South Dakota. It's still a little cool outside, but I think within a week or two, I'm going to start seeing some garage sales pop popping up, and I'll be doing a lot of filming at those, and I'll probably be doing a lot more like YouTube short videos, as well as videos like this where I'm pulling orders for now. Because I keep up with my TikTok channel a lot, I may eventually do some videos on YouTube where I'm going out to garage sales, but I do a lot of that on TikTok already. But let's check out some stuff I picked up yesterday at Goodwill, and then I'll show you some stuff I picked up today as well. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I love to pick up L.L. Bean. I picked up this short sleeve shirt for $4, and something like this I can get around $18 plus shipping on at least. This is a man's tall size 17. I also picked up this one yesterday. It's an LL Bean wrinkle resistant and it's a 3XL tall. This one will sell a lot better. Bigger sizes always tend to sell much faster. So this one is $4 as well. I'll probably get around at least 20 to 25. I'm gonna shoot more of the 25 range plus shipping on that. All right, I'm gonna show you some things that I found today. I don't wanna show all of them because I wanna save some for videos for TikTok as well as some YouTube short videos I'm gonna be putting up on here as well. But I'll show you a few things that I picked up. They're kind of common items, but I like to look out for these because they always sell really great for me. All right, so one thing I picked up was this little mug. And my Goodwill, all the mugs are 50 cents a piece or four for a dollar. I didn't see anything else I liked, so I just picked up this one. I like to get stuff that looks cool, has a nice design on it, and I put them in my antique booth for, you know, two, three bucks, so not a whole lot. I'll probably put like $2.50 on this. I just thought it had a really cool pattern on there, and uh, I'm sure someone will buy it. All right, I also like to check out Levi jeans, especially if it's a good size. This is a 5'11", 34, 36, and as you can tell, they're in really, really great condition. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit. But for $4, I can sell these for probably around $20, so not bad. I also picked up a Ralph Lauren 2XL. This is a classic fit. They're $4 at my Goodwill. Oh, it does have all the buttons. Always one. I was trying to make sure it has all the buttons when I buy it. There's no stains or anything like that. I don't buy clothes with stains on it. I try not to. But these, I sell really well for at least $20, $20 plus shipping. So $4 bucks to into $20. Not bad. Also found another LL Bean. It's a large, tall. Same thing here. $4 for about $20 or so. And then this is a size of medium. It's a Bugatti. These sell a lot better for me. And the whenever the weather starts warming up, Bugatti seems to sell better. So I start picking these up. I can tell this was taken care of. It looks, looks like it's been dry cleaned. But uh, this one has a nice pattern. I don't like to pick them up if they have boring patterns. But if they look nice like this, I'll pick it up. It is a size medium. That's the only downside about this, but it's a Bugatti, so it sells good. So for four bucks, I'll be looking for around $20 plus shipping. It just will sell a little bit slower, but I don't have a lot of mediums of these, so I went ahead and picked it up. All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. I have more listing to do. I gotta put up TikTok videos edit this one as well i'm really trying to get busy and stay stay active and i want to be more active on youtube and more active on tiktok and instagram as well so make sure to check out all my other channels i'll have some links down below also some supplies i use as well but anyways guys i gotta get to work happy thrifting make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already leave me some comments about some stuff you'd like to see in the future on my videos happy thrifting guys take care peace